it is looked upon as a man's world. But in the background and the basis of it, it's the women. Because a lot of our political leaders or a lot of leaders in general are from single mothers. So we are like the backbones of this world. We help build it up. Before I didn't really talk and care about uh, women's rights and uh, freedom of choice. Um, so I did the human rights, but not on women issues. Mm. Jeg tenker at jeg kan endre verden på den måten at jeg forholder meg til min lille mikroverden her som jeg bor, og mine barn, og mine barns venner i form av det å være inkluderende og ta initiativ sånn at vennskap kan bygges mellom barn. Også i jobben min som lærer tenker jeg at jeg kan påvirke samfunnet vårt ganske sterkt. Becoming a man did bring the women issues in my personal life. When I gave birth to the first child, around that time a very sad story happened. During a home birth, a baby died and the midwife who was present during that birth ended up in prison later. And I realized that I should do something. Now in Hungary we are living in a society where women need to, or women are scared when they decide to give home birth, and uh, they are scared of uh, of comments, uh, they are scared of uh, authorities. The home birth itself is criminalized. As mothers, we should be able to give back and be able to uplift each other. That way, that everybody will be happy instead of always trying to tear each other down. One person cannot change the world. It takes multiple people. Families are living in isolated world and I think that's good if families would connect more to each other and to start building small communities. Other women in my situation should not see themselves the way the society sees them. They should see themselves as real women. They should see themselves as people who have equal rights in the society. They should have hope in themselves. Women are always being demeaned by men, other women, just demeaned, period. If we as women come together, I think that everything could change.